Hi everyone, Lance van der Pfeiffer here from Panthera Photo Safaris and I'm coming to you from the Mara. So behind me is the Mara River uh, in Kenya for those of you who don't know and right here all through here is a really big pod of hippos uh, which are super cool. So my plan is I've actually set up a camera trap here behind me which I'll show you now and I the dream shot is to get a hippo at night either entering or exiting the river uh, with a lot of sky and hopefully get some stars so either the milky way or maybe even a star trail behind them, which would be really cool so i do apologize if the audio uh, is not great on this video i'm filming all of this on my phone and um, there's just too much stuff to lug around here uh, i'm doing most of this on foot um, and as you'll see now when i show you the camera trap setup it's a lot of weight so um, i don't I'm not uh, <laughs> I'm not skimping, but I, I I'm just going to film this whole thing on my phone. So, right. So hopefully you can hear me over the hippos. But as you can see, there's a lot of hippos here. Uh, most of them are under the water right now because I'm standing here. But the whole day they've been sleeping in this area here, and at night they come up through these amazing gullies, which is good because you kind of know where to aim. And then they come out and they head off into the fields to eat. So I've put a camera trap. As you can see, it's a monstrosity. We spent some time in the workshop making this and it's actually really cool. I'm excited to use this. And we've made a steel frame around it so that if animals do get to it, hopefully the hyenas won't be able to chew the lens, uh, that kind of thing. So that is the whole setup on the one side. This is where I'm hoping to get the hippos uh, breaking the beam with that sort of background. And then right over there is another sensor which they have to walk through to set the camera trap off with a flash as well. So I'm hoping to backlight, uh, sort of get a nice rim light around the hippo as well. So let's have a little closer look and I'll show you what's going on here. Right, so I'm shooting with the Cognosis Scout. I've got a 7D Mark II in the box with a, uh, a 10 to 22 lens shooting nice and wide and then this really cool metal frame we made in the workshop yesterday so the idea behind it is if an elephant comes along and decides to kick the camera hopefully it will protect the box if a hyena tries to chew on it hopefully it won't get to the plastic bits i do realize the sensor which is this piece here is quite exposed but i'm hoping on this little island where i put it tonight it'll be fine and then what needs to happen is the hippos are going to come out of the water up this pathway here and around about here they're going to stand in front well actually right here they're going to stand in front of this trigger which is going to set off the camera and the flashes so with a nice long exposure of about 30 seconds or so hopefully we'll get a hippo standing about here a nice wide shot like this hopefully these clouds go away and we get some really nice stars in the background Right, so that's the plan. Um, best plans are only good if they actually work. So, yeah, I'm going to come back tomorrow. It's currently lunchtime. Um, all the hippos are in the water, so it's relatively safe to walk around here doing this. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully this time tomorrow when I come check on the camera trap, we'll hopefully have some hippo images. So one thing with the scout system is it's really cool. Um, you can set time limits for your flashes so i've set my flashes to only go off during dark hours so if a herd of giraffe or something walks through there now it's not going to kill my flashes before um the hippos arrive so that's one little nice thing i thought i'd just have to mention there right i'll see you guys tomorrow hopefully with some hippo images morning everyone uh, it's been a bit of an interesting morning so far uh, we went on game drive early this morning had a really nice sighting with some lions pride of lions and that managed to take down two zebras in the night uh, and then I went and checked my camera trap and on the way there Kirsten and myself walked straight into a hippo that was sleeping in the grass <laughs> so the grass here at the moment is higher than the hippo so a little bit too much excitement for one morning and then uh, Turns out we had an unwanted visitor to the camera trap last night. 
So unfortunately, the clamps I've brought to hold the flashes and the sensors are quite light, they're cheap um, and they're, they're small. So I brought them because my weight allowance for the flights here is very small and my camera equipment is very big. Um, so I bought cheapy little rubbish clamps. So when the monkey sat on the sensor to look at himself in the mirror, he's actually moved the sensor completely. So I've got about 700 shots of nothing. Um, somehow, mysteriously, it did manage to capture a couple of hippo shots, but unfortunately the monkey also sat on the flash. So he's very kindly aimed that at the floor for me and uh, <laughs> about 10 meters off to the left. So yeah, um, the light looked like it was okay, uh, brightness wise from what I could see. So I'm, I'm not going to tinker too much of the settings. Um, and yeah, I've reset up now. <laughs> I've, I've changed the angle a bit. I've aimed it a bit higher and a bit more to the right. Hoping to get a little bit more sky. So the original setup was a bit too low anyway. And yeah, we'll fingers crossed for tonight. Uh, it's only lunchtime now. So I'm actually going to try and get there again before sunset to make sure if the monkeys come back, they haven't rearranged anything for me. So fingers crossed. And yeah, we will <laughs> hopefully get better luck next time. So I've also aimed the camera slightly more left, aiming mainly for this sort of view now, and I've raised it a little bit, hoping to get a little bit more sky. Uh, the original shot was too low anyway, and then rather than having the hippos here, I'm now aiming for them more here. So it's also moved my trigger behind this rock, and I've moved the sensor over to here rather than being on the camera itself. Cool. Hopefully everything's set up right this time. Hopefully I've got the settings right. And yeah, fingers crossed the monkeys don't come back. Hi everyone, a uh, small update on the camera trapping layout. Um, <laughs> this one's been a bit of a shocker. Um, so the first location was working. I was getting the hippos leaving really nicely on the pathway, but unfortunately they're butt shots. Um, and then uh, by the time the hippos were coming back really early in the morning, it uh, was actually very frustrating because then the camera box because of the change of weather was uh, full of condensation every morning. So um, by the time the hippos came back, I couldn't actually get photos. So they're in the shot, they're blurry, they're there, they exist, but you, you can't see them. So it's not working. So I've gone for plan B. Um, I also noticed in the images, one of the lights was no longer firing. So I'm having technical issues with one of the lights. Um, not quite sure why. So I've gone with a new setup. I've gone closer. <laughs> Another problem we have is we've had a full moon almost every night. Um, so it's been a very, very bright moon every night. So there just isn't the stars that I was after, unfortunately, for this shot. So I've gone a lot closer in the second setup. Um, so not looking as much for the environment. So very close up, just trying to get a hippo in the shot. I've moved so that I'm now aiming when they come out of the water at night. So rather than when they're going back. Um, and I'm now down to one flash. So I have a flash uh, on the camera trap itself. So it's above the, above the camera. Um, and we're going to see how that goes. And then another thing is for this trip, I bought these little uh, tripod, uh, little ball heads. Um, so they go onto super clamps. And I thought, you know, let me get cheap ones so that if a hippo breaks them, um, I'm not going to feel that bad about it. Turns out you shouldn't buy cheap nonsense. So I don't know if you can see this on this phone camera, that little crack there. So just screwing this into the bottom of the flash is enough to crack this plastic. These are absolute junk. And uh, here's the second one. 
So just the weight of the flash sitting on this little ball head was enough to literally make it explode. Um, so I came back from the first setup and found my flash hanging upside down uh, with the ball head exploded. So absolutely useless if you're going to spend this much time and effort trying to camera trap rather just buy better gear which is very frustrating um, or find a way where you can mount a flash where you don't need a stupid ball head like this because this I mean this is 12 cents worth of metal which they charge me about 20 bucks for never again lesson learned um, so I'm gonna go set up this second camera trap uh, and then I'll show you guys the setup right everyone so we're back at the new spot of the camera trap and uh, let me come around you can see these have these amazing pathways that are coming from all directions so all these animal pathways and they're leading up to this spot here so I've just had a quick scout around the area set my camera trap up uh, the last couple of days at the old spot I walked into two hippos in the long grass which is not ideal uh, being one of Africa's most dangerous animals and all that so the interesting thing here on these pathways there's tracks for a lot of things hippos hyenas um, antelope there's a little dick dick that was just here before that ran away so I'm kind of hoping the goal is, is hippos, but uh, maybe we get lucky as well and get some other animals. Um, I didn't notice that on the other main path, it was only hippo tracks that I saw. So fingers crossed and let's flip you around again. So this is basically the track coming down here. You see these very deep gullies where the hippos come down. So they come from up here, walk down there on this perfect hippo pathway cross this little bit over here and then through this gap and into the water so I've got my camera trap hidden behind these branches I've got my trigger here obviously my flash on the box there and then we're hoping for hippos so it's it's a really pretty area it's uh, I think this is where the mothers with babies come out and then the really big old bulls because it's a lot more gentle here than uh, where the other trap was which was a lot steeper and also deeper faster flowing water there's actually a hippo yeah, there that's uh, moving away from me now so hopefully I haven't skidded away but uh, it's morning time now so by the time this evening rolls around he'll come back so that's a good sign hopefully those hippos are coming in and out of here and then I'll give you a little look at the angle that we are working with. Try not to fall in here. So here's my camera box. As you can see, really crudely hidden. But that's alright. Because most of the animals, if they're coming out of the water, by the time they notice this, hopefully I've taken their photo. So that's the rough angle that I'm going for. It's a terrible example something like that as you can see my trigger is over here and then the other one is on the bottom of the camera box there and it's basically set to go off when the animals hit this point of the pathway so you see there it's going to be a pretty slow process coming up here so by the time they get to here hopefully they're not paying attention anymore because it's been a bit of a struggle and then the camera will go off you can see there's some very fresh tracks of hippos from the last couple and I'm really hoping um, that the spot will do the trick of course they could be turds and go behind this little mound here there's another little track I don't think so though because it doesn't look very well used and this is the easiest part so fingers crossed for that All right I'm just going to turn the camera on uh, change the memory cards make sure the flash is all ready to go and then yeah we'll see what happens tonight so the one thing we didn't think of when we were putting this box together is that I have to be able to open the camera trap box and this is where the protective casing that we made for 
basically stopping anything, hopefully crushing the camera, locks into. Uh, the only problem is we didn't make it low enough. I actually didn't think I should have put it to the side here. Uh, if it was to the side, if it was to the sides on here, the box would be out of open completely, so it'd be a lot easier. As you can see, it's a bit of a tight squeeze to get the memory card out. I have to take the trigger off, unscrew the little piece, wiggle the camera out. <laughs> it's also not very easy for lining up the shot. But uh, that's basically the look we're going for. So hopefully a hippo will come into that little spot there. So next time I build a box. Uh, <laughs> make sure I'm thinking when I put the box together. morning everyone uh, I'm sitting on the banks of the Mara River again so just check my camera trap from last night and uh, actually got some really cool pictures so a ginormous couple of hippos uh, leaving the river which is really cool um, and then one really fat guy also coming back and um, so that was that was really nice I also got a little bonus um, of a hyena that came down so that was that was pretty cool as well So, I've walked around the camera trap this morning and uh, I found the second angle. So, I basically just moved the camera trap uh, from here to here. Uh, there's a really cool ridge where the hippos, I don't know, they have to climb this thing. And it's, and it's quite steep, it's about two meters high and it must take a hell of a lot of effort. So... I've set my camera trap up here now because I'm thinking it's ju it'll just be an interesting shot to see how much work these guys do to climb out of this little area of the river. So, around here. So I'm currently sitting, there's some hippo snorting somewhere down there. And here's my new camera trap spot. So, the last location was here, from the images you just saw. Now I've placed it here because this here is where the hippos climb up. And as you can see, it's not an easy thing to do when you're a two ton big fat animal. So um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this new area will give me some interesting shots. Um, I might do a night or two here. Um, we're starting to get darker skies again, which is really nice. We've had a moon the whole time so far Which means we haven't really been able to play with stars um, But now we're starting to get into dark skies where I can try my star shot again, so I'm gonna give this another couple of tries um, and Then just to see what we get on this angle and then I'm gonna try change the position again to aim for more stars and um, this area here quite high bank walls and then some trees and then mountains so we don't get as much sky in the shot um, but yeah so the next one we're gonna try for stars again but yeah so super excited about the images I've got so far and um, they're really cool and yeah I'm going to hopefully give this setup a couple of days hopefully we get some really nice action out of this one and I'll yeah I'll see you tomorrow see what we get on this new angle So it's quite interesting, I managed to get two shots of that hyena last night um, and he obviously is very inquisitive to what the camera was. If you see here, there's hyena tracks absolutely all over the place. So he's basically circled my camera sniffing every little angle, um, trying to figure out what this new thing is because obviously walking through the bush he's never had something 
flash him uh, at night before so I think this is a promising looking area I might hopefully get some more hyena action here because the tracks are all over the place which is really cool and I'm also assuming that that means our metal box we made with the workshop has done its job because normally when you have a hyena circling your gear you have holes in your gear which we haven't had yet so fingers crossed that's still working uh, and yeah we'll see you on the next one hi guys just come back and check the camera again uh, got some nice shots last night hippos entering and exiting and uh, and a buffalo who swam across the river and, and decided to exit the river here as well so that's quite nice um, I'm slowly running out of days here in the Mara so I've changed the setup again um, it's in the same place but I've changed the location so before it was on the other side of this little mound here and now I'm aiming for hippos coming back in the morning so they would have gone out and fed uh, now they're gonna come back and I want I want a face full of hippo so I want the camera close to the hippo mostly a headshot if I can get a small little body as well because I'm shooting quite a wide angle lens um, I think that might be really cool and I've noticed that these hippos are coming out in and out of this pathway you can see it's a very well defined pathway um, basically every night so hopefully if I give this two nights I should get that um, had more visits from the hyena last night which is cool as well so this is the new setup here let me flip you around basically I'm gonna put uh, some branches here so that when they're exiting they don't hopefully notice it too much uh, that is where I've pre-focused you can see the sensor there will have to be photoshopped out but that's all right and then I'm kind of hoping the hippos are this close when they take the shot so it should be a really cool shot the other sensor is hidden here for the beam so and then this is where the trap was last night so it was over there coming for here so in theory I've shot this in three different angles now so the hippos come back here at night they don't fall in that hole which is not very wide they tiptoe around this corner and then if you follow this nice pathway they follow down through there to the river so I'm hoping at this point you're not really paying attention and hopefully we get some cool shots that way so yeah I put a lot of rocks to weigh the camera down not that um, if a hippo even looks at this camera funny it's going flying but hopefully Hopefully the rocks hold it in place. Hopefully they don't bump into it. And then yeah, we'll see how we go. Pretty excited to see what turns up out of this one. Still hoping the hyenas don't eat the sensors. They haven't so far, which has been great. Uh, I'm just waiting for the day that they decide to chew on one though. And then yeah, we'll check it again tomorrow and see what shots we got. One thing I forgot to mention is this sensor can be directional. So... I'm almost tempted to sacrifice half the shots which are going to be bum shots anyway um, and turn on the direction for the sensor so that hippos leaving the water are not going to get flashed um, so that that way they're not going to try and find somewhere else to go back to the water so they're not going to get flashed on the way out the camera's not going to go off and then hopefully they all come back this same route uh, in the morning and then take their nice portraits um, I haven't noticed at this spot the hippos being flashed and not coming back like they did in the first place um, so maybe these ones are just a bit braver or a bit stupider because it uh, looks like the big boys and some young ones here um, so yeah I'm tempted to maybe turn it onto directional I have a feeling I'm being stalked by something here um, so I might put it on directional or I might put it on directional tomorrow and if, if this first day doesn't work out so it'll be interesting to see um, if they get flash if they won't come back because this time the flash rather than being kind of front on will be from behind um, so it might give them a bit of a fright but we'll see so I've still got five minutes to make my mind up